Yo, it's your man, Abu American. I'm working through a concept here, so bear with me if this video comes out a bit disjointed and kind of all over the place. But sometimes something goes off my head and I can't, uh, I can't let it go. I'm like, there's something there. Illimitable man, he said in an article, confronting a woman or proving her wrong you know, based off of her contradictions, won't get you anywhere. Meaning it doesn't benefit you. It won't, you know, make her respect you, won't make her like you more. Actually, it does the opposite. And he's right. So, what kind of brought this together? There was a clicking point when I read that, but I just didn't know why. And I was recently thinking, why is it that whenever I deal with a woman and we don't get along, um, she blocks me. I, you know, I'm not going to like talk to them. I'm not going to be like, keep on sending them messages. I have a lot of unblocked women on my, inst on my, sorry, on my WhatsApp that I just don't talk to. I haven't talked to them in a long time because I just lost interest. I'm just like, you know what? But I don't see the need to block them. And this is because women don't like to be confronted with their mistakes. Women block you. And an extension off what a limitable man was saying is based off of the fact that women don't like to be proven wrong. They don't like to be confronted with their mistakes. What I believe is they are somehow attracted to you as a man. This is potentially, I can't really say this is 100%. Like I said, this is not a concept and an idea that I'm dealing with. They're attracted to you. And they don't want to be confronted with the idea that they made a mistake by, like, getting stinky with you. Now, here's the thing. He's like, okay, I'm American. Does this make sense? They're attracted to you, but they block you. Well, yeah. Remember Rolo Tomasi when he showed on his chart in the second book, Preventative Medicine, that women at different ages in life have different wants and desires and needs from a man, right? So... Depending on what stage you meet a woman at in her life, and I eat, and, and me at 45, I meet a broad range of women from, you know, 18 all the way up to, you know, the 40s recently. I don't know what the heck they're doing on the sexual market. I made a video about that. Um, yeah, sexual market. Of course, I'm Muslim, so I'm, I'm trying to get married. Um, but anyway, um, depending on their age depends on what they need from a man. And so maybe you meet, uh, you tick a lot of their boxes because, you know, women got a lot of ridiculous boxes, but you don't meet them all. Maybe it's an important point. Maybe it's something she's just not willing to let go of. And so what does she try to do? She tries to get you through shaming, through pressure, through feminine wiles to get you to conform to what she needs as a woman so that she can get everything she wants. Ah, oh, he's got the looks. Ah, oh, he's got the money, but he's missing name, whatever crazy thing women shop for. Okay, excuse the light up there. I'm, my apartment's new. I'm renovating it still. I'm going to do videos on that actually. So anyway, now, when you don't conform to those things that she's trying to push you into, she gets upset and she blocks you. Now, of course, she's going to get upset because when you look at the vast majority of men nowadays, they're what? They're thirsty and they lack spine when it comes to women, this is the scarcity mindset where they see this beautiful woman and they're like, oh my gosh, she's so amazing. Yeah. And he doesn't have the mindset that, you know what? I got her this far. I can get another one this far. That, you know, when I took that mentality, my entire relationship with women changed 100%. I'll cut a woman off that's a drop dead nine and a half straight 10 like that. I'll just be like, you know what? You still ain't got none of my ex-wife. And even if you do, I got your number. I can get somebody else's number. You got to have that mentality so that you get what you want. She's going to try and get what she wants. So why don't you get what you want as a man? Considering how you ultimately are responsible for her, you're going to pay the bills. You're going to pay for dinner. You're going to pay for movies. You're going to pay for all this stuff when you're married. And I'm speaking from a Muslim standpoint. If you're not a Muslim, I get you guys do it a different way. But no matter what, you're still paying. So why is it that you are not the prize and she is? Explain that one to me. Because she won the genetic lottery. She got lucky in the proper sense of 
uh, Islamic creed. She got lucky. It was written for her that she was going to be beautiful. She got a nice looking mom and dad and things turned out right or the DNA thing skipped their ugly parents and she got the pretty genes in the family. Whatever. You, everything that you do for her comes through hard work and effort. Requires skills that are developed over time. Something that will never leave you barring some horrible injury that dismembers you or causes you to become mentally like incapacitated. She's going to hit the wall. She's going to come to a certain age and that beauty is going to leave her. And even if she hits a soft wall, because we know not all women hit the wall the same. Even if she hits the soft wall, you know what there's going to be? There's going to be a newer version of her around the corner that's 18, fresh, smelling great. So why is she the prize? Because to get to where you are, took work. So anyway, women understand this. This is why they're obsessed with SMV. This is why they're obsessed with sexual market value. This is why they're obsessed with their looks. This is why you find old 60 year old women plucking the eyebrows. Lady look like a freaking preserved lizard with plucked eyebrows putting on makeup. There ain't all that makeup and plastic surgery in the world. I'm not being offensive. I'm just talking truth. Tell me I'm not talking real. I'm just saying. So anyway, they block you and they get upset because they hate the idea that they are probably making a mistake and they don't want to be confronted with seeing you all the time. I see this in my ex-wife. My ex-wife doesn't like the idea that some success is coming to me. I'm working on some business and some things are going good for me. You know, I told you guys I was doing some Bitcoin investment and I'm about to do some other stuff. I'll share it with you guys if it takes off. If not, then, you know, I don't look stupid for mentioning it. But nonetheless, she's got a, a front row seat to everything I do. And I, I really need to change that. You know, that's a mistake. But I noticed she really dislikes the idea that I might do well. She doesn't outright say it because, you know, we spend a lot of time together, me and my ex-wife. She lives right downstairs. And a lot of the videos I film, I actually film from her apartment. But, you know, my place, I'm renovating it. It's new. I just got it. The people moved out and whatnot. So I'm going to be up here more often, better lighting and everything. It's a cooler looking place. So anyway, <laughs> the Abu American Shack. So anyway, I noticed that it bothers her. And all of this sort of clicked together. The blocking, it bothering her, the behavior of women in general, not wanting to be correct, illimitable man statement. And that's what it is, gentlemen. When a woman blocks you, you know you're increasing, you've increased, or you're at a high to medium or whatever sexual market uh, status as a man. Unless you're being creepy. Now, you know, you did, <laughs> that's different. You, there are some brothers that, you know, I was talking to a guy and he was being creepy with a woman. I told him, man, just stop talking to that woman. He was just being creepy. There are times when guys get blocked rightfully. But a lot of times you find that guys who are regular decent guys are getting blocked for innocuous you know, benign, bland things that doesn't make any sense. And they're even like, dude, she blocked me. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, because you know what? You, you're a challenge that she can't face up to. Her ego, because of thirsty dudes, which is highly unjustified. And I'm telling you, even the most solid of tens, her, her whole ego and attitude, it's misplaced. It's ill-placed. It's ill-placed because, again, there's no skill to it. So anyway, she doesn't want to have to battle. She doesn't want to have to fight for it. They've become spoiled. Complacency because of thirsty dudes. Dudes make them work for it. Now, I'm not saying spend your life being single or whatever else, but you have to walk this earth, not eager, e egotistical and like, you know, uh, haughty, you know, haughty and like, you know, like I'm better than everybody else just because I'm better than everybody else. But, you know. Know your worth and know your value, gentlemen. When a woman comes up to you, she's looking to you to be her hero in all aspects that you can think of. Even if she doesn't outright need it or say it at this moment. But if you're with a woman, let's say you're, you're courting a woman, you know, what's going to happen if a, a purse robber comes and grabs something? Who's expected to use his physicality to protect her and her belongings? If everything goes wrong in her life, Who's she expect to financially bail her out? If she gets into an argument or a battle online that she can't win, who does she expect to intellectually come along and browbeat the next guy into submission intellectually or even just intimidate him? 
Who does she expect to white knight for her when someone besmirches her honor? And then you're supposed to come along and punch this guy out on the street because BJJ. I'm ranting. I went off topic here. I told you I was going to be all over the place. But the point here is you are the prize, gentlemen. And women know it. And they don't want to be confronted with their mistakes. Tell me, tell me, tell me I'm lying when I say women don't have accountability or responsibility. All we have to do is look at the way that crime is dealt with in society, in Western society. Look at the punishments for men and pedophilia and women and pedophilia. Look at how male and female bank robbers are dealt with. Two people, a man and a woman, will rob a bank together. And ten people will die from those two people. And the woman will get a significantly different sentence than the man. Women do not face accountability. Western society gives women free reign to do what the heck they want, when they want, how they want. And we talked about that in the last video anyway. So, hey, this is a concept. If I'm off... Fill me in here, you know, because because this is something that just popped in my head. I might be wrong here. So I'm just building this in my head right now as, as you know, I'm going out while I'm making up this video here. I'm a hashing over it, but I don't see how I'm wrong on this one. Let me know if I am, guys. This is your man, Abu American. Catch me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All at Abu American. I'm out. Hey, what? Stop.